hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can install the windows 11 on m1 m2 and m3 silicon chips so let's start without wasting our time guys so in order to install the windows 11 on our mac operating system m1 m2 and m3 chips we need to open the google chrome and once you open the google chrome you need to type a utm download and once you search UTM download, go to first official link of their website. The app can be available on the two options, Mac App Store and the simply download option. So I'm going to click on the download option here. And let's wait here. Once it is UTM is downloaded, you need to go to the finder and go to download option and look for the UTM here. This is the UTM I have already downloaded. You just need to double click on that and simply drag it like this. Okay, so once you drag it like this, put your password and username, the UTM will be downloaded like this. But after that, we have some guides here as well here. We need to go to the gallery. And once we get, go to the gallery, we need to have the download ISO image of the Windows 11. Click on this option. Now click on guide option here. The new window will be launched. You need to click on this crystal fetch download on the app store. Click on that. And open the app store. Click on get click on install uh, this will create the ISO file of Windows 11 so you have to enter the Apple ID or if it is not asking that let me enter the Apple ID here so once you have entered your Apple ID here you will get this option to open it click on open and simply close this one now inside here choose the Windows 11 and Apple silicon chip you need to choose here language choose United States or whatever region you have Windows 11 edition and click on download option click on download and it will start downloading you just need to wait here this is making the Windows 11 ISO file we have to wait here sometime so let me pause the video here so it is basically installing the windows iso file and it will take around 4 gb of your internet as you can see here so after waiting for almost 15 minutes guys it is again going to almost done the process so i have moved this iso into the document folder so let me open the UTM now you can launch it here click on create a new virtual machine then click on virtualized inside here choose the windows and install the windows 10 or higher select that option and in the boot ISO image we need to look for the browse and go to the path where you have downloaded that in my case I have downloaded this click on open once you have opened that you need to tick the driver in this package should be automatically but if not select next give the memory at least 4 GB 4091 and course at least give 4 course hit next 55 is recommended minimum hit continue hit continue you can open the system setting you can modify the setting as well from here next and in here network we need to go to the network if you want to use the windows network on your system the internet option go to shared mode and select the bridge connection it will select automatic leave as setting as default hit save now let me open it 
now once it opens we need to press any key on it press any key on it and now system is going to boot the files ok select uh, next next so if I have product key you can enter it I will do it later so click on I don't have a product key select here the operating system the edition you want I want Windows 11 Pro next now accept terms and condition here now it will ask it is searching for the disks so you need to select here the existing one select next if you give it less than 55 GB it will throw the error that windows cannot be installed on this so 55 is minimum disk you need to give that now we need to wait here guide until it's get 100% and the next installation process will be same on your windows now the system may restart several times you just need to wait here guys it will automatically install the services here you can see make sure you plug in the charger as well on your system now you will see just a moment guys you just need to leave the system after see almost there now see guys we have successfully installed the windows 11 on our system uh, if you are getting any kind of issues of the resolution just open file explorer go to the cd drive utm just right click on tools and simply run as admin next next so this is the disk we have allocated it now you can restart it from here as well let me restart it yes, I have done some R&D after some times the connection which I have showed you is was not working in my system so I have chosen the different connection here so let me stop here the machine once so go to network tab the bridge connection was not working in my system bridge connection so I have shared the shared connection leave all things as default here emulator network card I have chosen this PCI the this option and then simply hit the save options and my internet is working fine in my system but you can also choose the bridge one so let me make it bigger guys see internet is connected here internet access and if I want to open here the YouTube I have already done the process but just to show you the R&D I have done fix stack see see all the options are working here and likewise if I want to go to here if I want to click anywhere on it the news so internet is also working fine in my windows see so I hope guys you have enjoyed this video and I have done a lot of hard work for you as well as a smart work for you so I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching and you can also join the membership and you can comment if you are getting any kind of issues so thank you thanks for watching